Now, if you look at this closely, this is a, uh, it's a cross in Hobart, Australia. This is a winter solace festival that they've had for probably the last eight or ten years. It's a satanic ritual, and one of the one of the highlights of it is is that they have a they have a nude swim, and it's the middle of winter over there. They go out, the, the whole town goes in the water and they go swimming in the nude. And this particular cross is 65 feet high. And, and I believe there was like five or six of them that they would spread throughout the, throughout the town. This is where the, uh, you probably heard of the Tanzanian devils. Well, that, that's actually a little, it's not a devil, but it looks like a rat. But anyway, that, that, that's what this was all about. But more alarming than that is this next picture that you're looking at, which is Fatima, Portugal. And I looked at that, I said, we, we said, this, this is, there's something wrong here. I mean, what is this? I mean, it's, it's neo-pagan. It's very secular. Yet this is Fatima. And this is, a, there's two rotundas in, in uh, Fatima. There's a south and there's a north. And, and on, on, this is the south, I believe. The north is basically the same thing. And to, be, to put it very blunt, that's, that's like three kids looking up at a phallic symbol. It's disgusting. And this was allowed by... You know, it's a monolithic pillar. It was allowed by Monsignor Guerra and Father Condor, which I found was uh, kind of alarming, but uh, they allowed this to go on. And they also had a, uh, they had a Hindu festival right where Our Lady was appeared. So what we decided to do was, uh, it was so alarming that we said, well, we got to go to Fatima to see if there's something that we could do. So we had, we had set up a, an appointment to meet with the magistrate in Fatima, and to we brought a letter that was you know we we had it printed in Portuguese, and uh, the letter the letter basically said that we don't like what's here, and we want this changed, and they they told us basically uh, we'll get back to you, and because I remember meeting the magistrate wasn't there that day, but we met with with his assistant, some lady. And uh, she said, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you. Well, this was, this was in 2019, I believe. She hasn't gotten back to us yet. <laughs> so, but it, it's, very, it's very disappointing when you, when you see something like that. I mean, it's just... Uh, and the letter is actually in... There's an article in, the, in there about this meeting that I think it's in uh, Fatima Crusader 125. Uh, which you could still get, I believe. Um, so what we have here is outrages and indifferences, and there's a lot of outrages that everyone here that can tell. You, you all got your own story, and I'm sure that, especially with indifferences, you know, your kids, what do what I got to do this for, what I got to do that for? Uh, it, it's very, very, uh, very difficult. So the way I look at this is you have you got the devil, you got the protocols of the elders of Zion, which is the, map, the road map for what's supposed to be going on in this world, and, it's, and it seems to be, we seem to be following that road map. And then you have the Freemasons who they dupe to do their job, and, uh, and, and on the other side you'll see modern Babel. This was a, uh, this is a motif that was from the uh, European Union, actually, when they were forming the European Union. I don't know if you could read the, the, the print on there, but, but it basically says what it is. It's a motif, and they, this would make uh, the European Union a, uh, you know, a superpower, that type of thing, super state. And you have the Tower of Babel, which is many voices, many tongues in one voice. You have, uh, you know, and they had. They also had the crown of Mary, Queen of Heaven. No, it wasn't that. Not to them. It's it's a it's a uh, modern Babel. I mean, it's this queen that they're talking about was actually the pagan mother of uh, Nimrod. Nimrod. He's the guy that built Babel, and. Uh, this is the this is what they're following. These are all pentagrams. You can see the stars upside down; they're inverted. 
And, you know, maybe I, maybe when I when I did this uh, this this triangle thing, I should have done it the other way with a devil at the top instead of at the bottom. But anyway. Okay, so how do we tear down this wall that's suppressing Our Lady's message? We have, number one, we have poorly formed priests. You know, if you, you talk to these priests, they don't have a clue about apparitions. Every apparition that they're ever involved in is the same thing. In fact, uh, we made a call to a parish priest, and I'm in the middle of talking to him about Fatima just to see if he wanted, if he wanted to talk about it. And he said to me, he says, uh, he said, hey, he says, uh, you'd be great to go on a pilgrimage with us. So I figured he's going to tell me he's going to go to Fatima, right? <laughs> Where are you going? He said, Magigori. <laughs> I said, Magigori, are you kidding me? That's not even approved by the church. And you want to go to Magigori? He said, oh, look at all, a lot of things have happened over there. I said, look at Father, that, that's not where we're here at all. This is, the, this is what's going on today, not Magigori. So anyway, he didn't want to get into that, and we didn't get too far with what I was trying to propose to him either. 